Hey guys, just heading out to the woods. Gage and I are going to go to a different spot tonight. We're going to go to the stone box and we're going to do a live session spirit box at the, I don't know what this is, native stone box. That's what I'm leaning towards guys because a couple of you guys sent me photos of what they found as ancient sites and they had these stone boxes erected. They looked exactly like the one we found back here. So I thought uh, it would be interesting to go. It's about a mile, almost a mile away from the creepy corner. So complete other side of the property. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna film on the camcorder so we can analyze the responses and get better recordings. And we'll also do the live. Hopefully the live will actually go live and stay live on the channel. We had problems with that last time. I, I don't know, but we're gonna try it. So here we go. Oh man, I haven't been to this part of the woods all winter and there's no trail and I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but the snow is actually pretty deep. It's pretty tough walking. We're going to do it. I'm glad I left with a couple hours of daylight left because it's not going to be the easiest walk to get in there. Got to break a trail in and then follow that same trail out in the dark. Uh, it's almost like a crust and then every step you kind of break through right up to the knees. There's no trail here. I'm just breaking trail. And uh, in the dark, that would be very hard to do. At least now I'll have my own trail to come back out on in the dark. Help me, buddy. Over here, help me. Get it out. Over here. Yeah, good boy, dig it out. Over here. Over here, Gage. Right here. Dig it out. All right, so Mr. Gage and I are just gathering some sticks. I've got the stone structure cleared out. We're actually gonna light a fire in here tonight. Just a little one for 45 minutes or so while we're here asking our questions. We'll have a little fire going on. And I thought, eh, we'll use it as a fire pit if that's what it was intended as. If not, maybe we'll get some spirit responses. Okay, can you guys hear the Hack shack. Oh, I lost the camcorder. I've always wondered what would happen if we just turned this on and didn't ask any questions. Like if they have something to say, just let them say it. Yes. Ooh, that was a quick response. We didn't even ask a question.
Kathy, Susan. I'm gonna stir this fire up again. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I gotta keep tending to this thing. I wanna to talk to you. Can you spirits tell us about the light in the sky? The one I filmed, the one we've seen numerous times, these orbs. I don't know if that said something or not. Sometimes when I analyze it at home, what I think isn't of words out here in the field actually is words on the computer. Is the rock a portal? Now, the other thing I want to mention to you guys is that this phone is not connected to the internet. This is my old phone. So it is not connected to my new phone, which we're recording on. It's not connected to the internet. All it is doing is running the app. I don't know how then it scans radio uh, frequencies, which is what they, they're saying it's doing. So, the voices that are coming through would either have to be saved in the app itself, and it's a very tiny app if you download it. I don't think so. And, and the responses usually make sense. This is why I'm still playing with this thing, because there's too many times it makes sense. There were many native battles here back in the day. Iroquois, Huron, Cranberry Trail, we showed you guys the signs. Uh, Grant and I did a spirit box session down there one night and they were talking about the natives, the Indians. And then we went around the corner and there was a plaque telling us about the battles that had happened in that area. I mean, it doesn't make any more sense than that. Ooh, the fire just kicked up there. <laughs> did you do that? Ooh, the fire just kicked up there. <laughs> Did you do that? You're not going to believe it. I knew it was going to happen. I just turned the other recorder off because I wanted to keep the file small. And remember the last time we were going to do that? The same thing happened. I paused. I didn't stop the recorder and a voice came through. This time, I actually stopped it. I didn't get that on the recording. So hopefully this thing gets uploaded to YouTube and I'll have to analyze it off of YouTube. Ooh, the fire just kicked up there. <laughs> Did you do that? sounded like Russian. That would be really odd if it did say Russian because we asked them to tell us about the Russian conflict going on earlier, right at the beginning of this session. So again, that would be another thing that just makes sense if that's in fact what it said. Thought I just heard a coyote. Lori says they're all waiting for you spirits to talk to them. There's 150 of them just waiting to hear what you have to say.
two different voices, a female voice and a male voice. I don't want to say what I think that said, because in case I'm wrong, but... <laughs> Something about the war? I really wanted to know about this stone box is why I was here. I was hoping to get answers. But I think they're trying to tell us about current events. I thought I heard the word war in that last, and something about just or justice. Do you have anything to say about the Ukrainian side of it? Oh, that was a, a lot of words in there. Nuke? Did that say nuke? Oh, am I just make am I just hearing what we want to hear? I don't know. Freaking myself out here a little bit. Yeah, I agree, Brian. <laughs> I didn't want to ask about that, but a bunch of people were saying ask, so I know nobody wants to talk about it, Lisa. Okay, I'm going to interject here. I could not figure out what response 14 said. It's very muddy. So I've made a clip, sent it off to Grant to run through crisp. Hello? I hate so when I analyzed it with my ear, I thought I heard something different, but then I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a minute or two, I'm going to run it through my AI filter and I get something totally different when I run through the filter. Everything I heard off the bat with my naked ear, I could hear the word Russians right at the end of it. That's the only word I could hear with my ear, okay? So then I thought it said something about, uh, well, I wasn't sure. Okay, that's why I ran the Chris filter, but I could hear the word Russians. When I filter it, and I'll send you this file once it's filtered, okay? It says, I hate those fucking Russians. Send me the file and we'll <laughs> we'll throw it in the video. Okay, thanks for doing that. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. Wow, another really long sentence right there. Who made this box? Please tell me who made this box. I did. I'm pretty sure that's what it just said. Who are you? It keeps me coming back. I'm enthralled. <laughs> you know, Grant's channel as well. I don't hear everything that he hears, but some of it I do. And it's like names when he's talking to specific people, you don't hear those names all the time. And then all of a sudden he's talking to Betty White and you hear names like Bob Hope and Betty White, you know, and it's, it's weird. There's more to this. I can hear a snow machine coming across the lake. Ah, oh, Gage, he just kicked snow on me. I'm gonna let you guys go on the live end. Maybe I'll sit here for another 10 minutes, see if I can't get a su surprise response or two to put in the other video. 
Thanks for joining in, guys. Give me the thumbs up. Love you all. We'll catch you in the next adventure. All right, so the live session is over. It says it's processing, which I guess means it's uploading. Ugh. Fire is not but a few coals down there now. Gage working on a stick down there. <laughs> Can you say hi to my dog? Why don't you believe in me? Oh, I heard that clear as day and a shiver just went right up my back. Can't, can't, can't. Oh, it's still going. I do believe in you. <laughs> the other thing we should take notice of is that Gage does not freak out. All through these sessions, when the voices come and go, he doesn't pay any attention to this. Or people talking, you know, it doesn't phase him. I'll stay if you're gonna talk to me. Do you want me to stay a little longer? All right, I guess I'm gonna pack it in, guys. I'm cold, it is getting dark. Maybe I'll pack everything up and carry this and the camera out and we'll keep the session going on the way back. All right, I'm pretty much packed up here. Everything's cleaned up. I can't put that mitt on actually because I won't be able to start the hack shot. All right, we're gonna walk out of here. You shouldn't leave. I swear to God that just said you shouldn't leave. I just turned it on. I'm leaving. I'm sorry, I have to leave, it's getting dark. Do you have Something you need to tell me before I go. That was a female voice. We have to go, we'll, we'll come back though. Do you want us to come back? It's just the little responses like that guys that creep me out, that make perfect sense, right? I, I say we're ready to go, we're ready to leave. It says you shouldn't leave. I have to go Well, I can still see my footprints. Go on, speak into the box. I'll wait right here until you say what you gotta say. All right, I gotta go. I almost feel like they're just trying to trick me into sticking around until it gets dark, guys. That's kind of what I feel. Not this guy, he's too smart for that. I have no problem coming back and visiting though. You don't want to talk to me anymore? All right, my hands are too cold. I gotta put my gloves back on and I gotta make for home. 
I'm giving them every opportunity. All right, that's it guys. I have done what I set out to do. And we did get a couple of extra responses there that were, gave me shivers. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next adventure.